Edison residents trying to work through nearly a half million dollars in debt without a mayor. Now we're being told about the financial crisis we've been telling you due to the lack, town's lack of record keeping. WLB News 10's Gabrielle Tate reports on the ongoing search for answers. Even though the mayor resigned for health reasons, citizens are still calling for the other city council members to resign. And if that happens, they still want to know who will be held responsible for the massive debt. I felt like even though the mayor resigned, I felt like the rest of the city council, they're not taking full responsibility for, you know, what's going on also. Because I think, you know, they should have done more also. At some point in time, I think city council should have gotten all the bills or whatever should have known what was going on because they don't work for the mayor, they don't work for the city clerk. The city clerk work for the council member. The council member work for the citizens. And we are the citizens, but they shut us out. These are just some of the concerns people had at Monday night's meeting. City Attorney Tommy Coleman says he doesn't believe more resignations will help. What happens when there's a vacancy in Edison and more than 12 months exist in the term, then they have to call a special election. So the ordinance that they passed did both of those things, accepted the resignation and called a special election for November the 7th. During the meeting, there was also talks about how to form a strategic plan to pay that debt back. A creditor has made a demand and so we went into executive session to discuss that and they authorized me to try to, to settle that. 